What is going on, my good people, man? This is your main man, Ben, here. We are Talk Active, practicing wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation. Happy Thursday, folks. It is amazing here in Baltimore. It's kind of cold. It's kind of like, mm, I know electric bill is going to go crazy again, but we got roof over our heads and we got each other. It's another day to be thankful. First and foremost, guys, thank you for the support in this channel. Truly appreciate the coffee donations. Amazing how little things push us to be better. I hope y'all well, man, especially with this New Year stuff that we got. I know it's only January 2023, but uh, your plans on those, you know, gym and all that stuff. I hope it's going into proper, you know, places and, and it's being achieved because that is a good, good outlook to start in 2023. Now, <laughs> speaking of that gym, man, oh my God. So I got a little story here. Backstory real quick. I went to the gym yesterday for at least, what, what, since pandemic hits at 2019. And uh, it's, it's a nostalgic experience in LA Fitness. So before LA Fitness was named near here in our gym in Baltimore, Maryland, White Marsh specifically, it was Bally Total Fitness. And I've been going to that gym since 2004 and uh, pandemic hits. Uh, long story short, account needs to be suspended, but one of the managers, which is not there anymore in LA Fitness, um, wanted me to keep on paying even though I'm not going. So I was like, you know what? Put a stop loss in it, cancel that account. And I want to re-engage that account one more time, but they cannot do that for me, of course, because people got a lot of, you know, New Year's resolution and there's no lack of new people flooding the gym for that New Year's resolution. They will not reactivate my account. They can reactivate it, but they, I would have to pay more, which I'm not willing to do. So overall, I'm only paying 20 bucks a month for the entire nation's gym, you know, accommodation. But they want me to pay more than that, like double. I don't want to do that. But but it was an amazing experience yesterday, guys. I went to the gym and uh, it's this nostalgic experience. And uh, it's calling me back. So I think I'm going to hit Planet Fitness if you can hear that. I'm going to Planet Fitness. Maybe I will wait for my daughter later and see if she would have to come with me so that I can extend that membership. Because they got like two membership in Planet Fitness. There's basic. All I know is that 10 bucks or you can get the 25 bucks. You can bring a guest or somewhat a member of your family. Basically, you're paying for two people at one price which is pretty pretty awesome but other than that guys i would just like to extend this man if you know um it's like the beginning of the year and there's a lot of things that's happening and and um i just like to point out and don't forget to check out your friends um how they doing you know uh i pray for your wellness i mean there's a lot of things happening especially for people not just regular people but active people if you've seen the nfl thing for damar hamlin that he just collapsed and he got cpr in the middle of the field and i have seen a lot of people and all that stuff that's getting cardiac arrest or heart attack it is concerning Check out your gig, man. Check out your people, you know. Um, other than that, though, man, it's just it's just things, minor things. Um, also, if you follow MMA, um, Victoria Lee, a phenom in mixed martial arts, only 18 years old. Um, man, she's slated to fight at, I think, third week of this year, January. 
um, she passed away. No cause of, you know, um, her death was, was uh, mentioned in the family's uh, uh, tweet, specifically Victoria's big sister, but uh, um, it was... It was rumored that she. Uh, I don't. I don't want to say it though. But uh, most likely, uh, I heard one of the rumors and read it because um, the way her sister put it also in Twitter that you got to check your loved ones. So um, I don't know. I don't know, man. But just just continue to check out your you know your loved ones and all that stuff. But first and foremost, though, our new segment again. We give you a quick prayer here. Please, Father God, no one should ever reject you based on how I represent you. Amen. Amen. Now, we're going to hit, 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 hit January. Since January is amazing, it's a lot of good things that should come up with since we have all this uh, goals and we got some good things that should be happening for you. The things that we do and we cannot change to accept rather than fight every little thing. We are in the month of January. The theme of the month is transparency. The one who put the finishing touches on their life each day is never short of time. Since we practice practicality to be able to live well, we will apply the one that will work in our method. Today's topic, guys, we are going to tackle steadiness. Typically, when we talk about steadiness, we pair it with a task. I say steady, steady, like literally, like, you know, the word steady, you know, when you drive a forklift, you know, if 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 you're a spotter, hey, steady that one there, uh, uh, um, go down a little bit, steady, push in, you know, go into the pallet and take that. So I'll give you another example. Um, if you're a dad or a mom, whenever you have a teenager and a teenager of yours started to learn driving and, you know, you see and hear that a lot on how to drive and, you know, how to park a car to be able to get and pass their driver's license test. Now, you will hear this a lot when you, you know, you know, um, turning pedals like parallel parking, maintaining that speed limit, you know, steady that wheel. Don't keep on, you know, going to the right or left steady, straight it up. You know, you don't want to turn that on three o'clock and go back and, and back off real quick. Now, it's more familiar now, you know, sound of that word, steady. Now, let's get back into the meaning of the word steady. Steady means supported. Steady means balance. Steady means even in continuous development. That's what steady is. Um, if you have faith, hopefully you have one. Steadiness is very very important. Now, nobody had steady driving skills acquired automatically. I mean, not me. I mean, I'm, I'm speaking towards me, my brothers, my wife. Nobody that I know had a acquired that automatically. But when you're first time driver, there will be a lot of check sheets before turning that ignition. You know, look at all the famous pilots, the master of the seas, the captains, they have check sheets, if not already being programmed automatically in their heads, it's more likely a second nature for them to naturally reach for this, check for this. And if it doesn't agree, then send a crew mate there and check out what's happening, report back. So it's, it's a second nature. Now, going back to the drivers, um, first time drivers willingly accept that they don't have that skills, you know, that their feet 
or more heavy into that gas pedal. You know, they're very heavy in that one. It's untrained. Now, when we say untrained, it's it's they haven't been in there. So it's the feet, the scales are undisciplined. It, it's not steady at all. It, it's not steady. It's not stable. But but once again, for newcomers, if I'm new in here, I still have my choice. I still have my choice in spite of those unsteadiness. Now, I still got that choice and I'm courageous enough to accept my failure. That way I can learn. Okay? Even failing 10 times is better if that would be the cause of me learning these things. 10 times before successful shifting from first gear to second gear. First, second, step one, step two. It's like in life as well. It's like a gear in the engine before you can go further and move faster. You have to shift from first gear to the second gear. Now, if you drive a stick shift, the clutch pedal and gas must be evenly in sync or the engine will die on you. If you're an automatic driver, that's easy. You only got two pedals, the gas pedal and the brakes. If you're stick shift, you have three, clutch, brake, gas. This gas and clutch has to be perfectly in sync, like a balance. If gas goes down, clutch goes up. If you change gear, you hit clutch pedals for the gas goes up, you shift. So it has to be in sync, in sync, or else the engine will die on you. Regardless of uphill or downhill, the car will not decide that it will stop on a safer place. The car will not decide that. It just won't. Why? Because it is not the car that makes you move. Not the car at all. It's the engine. The engine shifts it from first to second gear. It's the engine. So if your scale is not steady or balanced, the engine will stop regardless who's sitting in the driver's seat. Regardless of who's sitting in the driver's seat. Now, this, my friends, is the same exact thing we run in our daily life. Um, the steadiness that we applied in our own Recent choices. Take note. Recent choices. Not just regular. Like regular choice, but it's recent. It has specific rules we must follow before choosing. That's why it's like definitely a one of a kind pick. What is it? Like choosing to do chores without getting mad randomly in the house. Sounds familiar? Yeah, it sounds familiar. Yep, definitely. What else? What else? <laughs> Choosing to listen rather than to reason to avoid further conflict with your spouse. Wow. We have to go there, huh? Let me, let me, let me repeat that. Choosing to listen rather than to reason to avoid further conflict with your spouse. Right? I mean, I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's no shots fired here, but it is what it is. What else? Stop scrolling on that Amazon thing. Stop scrolling in it. Because since you find to break all your reason and make one strong excuse to add it in your cart and buy it now. Mm. Sounds so familiar. And whew, all that reason choices we got, man. All that choices. Now, if we act on our own reason choices, there will be no issues at home or work or personal goals. If we act on our reason choices, why is that? Because our reason choices give us 
will. Once again, our recent choices give us will to avoid these issues. Ah, so that is why we have to have our own recent choices to avoid all the issues that we're going to encounter. That's why it's called reason. Now, I'll give you an example. Um, if we practice practicality, like we always uh, preach here in our podcast, as our own reason choice in the year of 2023, the year of the water rabbit, with a goal to either, for example, reduce your debt, credit card debt, student loan debt, car debt, or weight loss, go to the gym, weight loss, get in shape, or stress relief, you know, very important in the inside as well, the stress that we put in our body that produces negative chemical reactions that affect other organs or your body or your heart or anything that produce, you know, toxins. That's what stress is a silent killer here in America. Then we must adhere on our own rules to achieve steadiness or balance. That's what we call steady steady hold it there steady and be balanced now this is set i'll throw in a verse here in the book of proverbs chapter 3 verses 7 to 8 and it goes like this don't be impressed with your own wisdom instead fear the lord and turn away from evil then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Now it didn't say it didn't say you just have to make your own choices or reason choices, put a set of rules and you'll be okay. Here's why we're throwing the verse because in spite of all these things that we do, we can't be impressed on our own wisdom. Do you know where I'm going here? I'm saying is that we must put him First, don't be impressed with your own wisdom. It clearly says that in the book of life, in the Bible. Now, why are we mentioning this? Why are we mentioning this? With all the recent choices we make, all the signs that comes up, all the indicators that points, the stop losses that we put into that transaction, I like to remind you that this is not a guarantee. This is not a guarantee. All can still fail. That's a fact. All can still fail. But here's my honest tip, my own opinion. This is my tip and it has been working. I don't know if you can try it and you can attest if it does work. My own tip, put God first and let it run through. Once again, put God first and let it run through. All your plans, every single thing that you got, the moment you wake up, stop reaching for your phone. Nothing really is important in there. Put him first. Now, how does this work? I'll give you a couple of tips, man. Um, don't pray to God telling him your plans. Really? Why not? Why not, man? Because... Goodness gracious, he's a God. He already knows that. He already knows before what you think. He already knows it. Trust me, he does. He even knows the numbers of your hair. If you're me, you're losing that front hairline right there, that, that thing. Yeah, he knows that too. He knows that. I'm pretty sure. Now, how are we going to do this? Simply, simply ask his grace and mercy that if your reason choices will shift the way and things are not in your control, that he may grant you acceptance. Since we are human, we have the tendency of that human nature that if things do not go in our way, absolutely not in our control anymore, we get what? Agitated. We get fearful and we become unstable. 
that that goes for everything that goes for everything it goes for your business it goes for your study it goes for your relationship it goes for your career when we become agitated we become unstable we we tendency to we tend to not think properly um we become fearful we spread that you know uncertainty um we we spread those doubts and we become unstable that's what happens in it now if you're going to tell me that if don't give me that excuse the infamous if what do i mean by that what do i mean by that now um do you know what it is do you know what it is uh given what situation you're in right now regardless of where you live you know the if only if i knew it ahead of time ben only if i knew it i, c- I could change everything only if i was good looking i could be tom brady into you know good looking contest 10 years ago and make a lot of endorsements or Brad Pitt only if i was born on an influential rich family then i don't have to be problematic on my finances now that that does sounds familiar now right only if why are we throwing this guess what guess what serenity and stability are results of your choices and judgment not your environment you you want me to you want me to rephrase that again or you want me to listen <laughs> serenity and stability are results of our choices and judgment not your environment so our coupled asking god first then our recent choice but regardless of where we at it shouldn't be affected because that is our basis that is our roots that is our base and you should be okay with it not your environment not where you surround like um if you are put into a stressful place or situation relationship it shouldn't change that I mean you don't have to change yourself to become somebody just to impress people. That's like putting a plaster fixing temporary things but making more issues on that end. That would be that would be part of the bigger problem that you're cooking that that you're cooking. I hope you guys pick up something today man. Um it's it's little things that we do that that makes the difference for ourselves i mean what is this channel for it's for self improvement i mean a lot of things and a lot of people were scheme in just to profit or or pray for the weaker ones and um if we can instill the self awareness to improve ourselves that's what this channel is for we don't profit anything here but but it's a self awareness it's it's a self awareness and i hope you guys are picking up things man cuz cuz it's if growth is our goal then it must be established towards ourselves not looking at other people and basing all the truth and choices towards their looks or towards their preachings regardless if these people are ordained or not or professional or not or with md's or phd's or not but if you don't have that strong base within you then what would be the outcome of that decision if you seek to avoid all disruptions yet you did not find steadiness you will never be successful all your issues or problems will follow you wherever you go hide and seek but if you seek to avoid the disruptive judgment that causes all these problems you will achieve steadiness wherever you are thank you guys for listening always remember god is good all the time this is your main boy peace out <laughs>